I said, Kalito's been playing a lot of Ziggler lately. Ziggler is the main character. <laughs> All right. Never seen this matchup in my life. Honestly, I could see this being awful for Kazuya. So bad. Because, like, Kazuya has to commit to his reflector to, like, get it. And if Troll Dog just doesn't go for that and starts pressing A button instead, Kazuya's, like, dead in the water. There's nothing this character can do, can do to get in. But it's all up to Troll Dog. It's all in Troll Dog's, like, court. To just keep Kazuya away. And he's doing a very good job of it, like, recently. But this is still in the realm of possibility. He's going to armor through that, through that Frisbee. Fun thing about uh, Duck Hunt, which is not fun for the majority of people, is that Saiki and Ken are both frame one. It's fantastic. Side B is? Yes, uh, Clay Pigeon is frame one. I'm gonna trust you on that. <laughs> it's so annoying. Cause he'll like, he'll like pull it immediately. And it's like not, it's actually like not that bad for him because he doesn't take the explosion damage from uh, Can if he wants to like trade or whatnot. The problem is it makes him float and it makes him go a little bit higher. So if it misses, he just, oh, oh no, <laughs> that no. face from Kulito. That's a thing. <laughs> that oh so no, somebody clip that. I was. I don't want to ever see that again. That was awful. <laughs> I was just about to say I'm happy I'm seeing Kulito show that he's not afraid to use a reflector. He should be. And now I'm like, ooh. Maybe he should be. I've never seen Because, like, what is it? Like a 2.1? It's like a ridiculous multiplier. He died at, like, 80. Does I down think. smash two frames, by the way? Um, He, like, puts his elbow below the ledge, but it's, like, it's not a fantastic two frame, but, like, if you ever catch somebody lagging. I've never seen a two frame. All I'm going to say. Oh, he doesn't get the spike box. I love the patience on the ledge. I hope Kalito takes a note of it. I don't know what kind of parry options... Uh, I call him Ziglet again. I don't know what kind of parry <laughs> options Kazuya has, but you know, um, when I notice my opponent is like comfortable on the ledge, I take a note and I highlight it. The problem is shielding against Duck Hunt is never the most fantastic play. Wow. Troll Dog recognizing that Kalito doesn't have the best options to get to ledge in that scenario. He has to like commit to it up be a little bit too far away. All right, Kalito, I definitely know not a stranger to playing against Duck Hunt. Because wait, this dog. is close. Wait, this is close, close actually. You're dead. Oh boy, it's last stock. Oh my god, I thought I thought Troll Dog had three stocks still. I was just like, yeah, Troll Dog's doing a really good job oh, yeah. of keeping Kalito out, and nah, this is game even. I don't know that reflector thing happened, and I thought it was about to be like a JB five stock. What a conversion, actually. Oh, too slow on that. That shield damage. Yeah, down smash is a shield breaker. All right. Oh, uh, you're going to take 40%. You're gonna, yeah, it's, it does about 40%, which is honestly, for how much damage Kalito had taken while in rage, it's not a bad trade. Dude. Deal 40%, don't get the kill, but now Troll Dog's definitely in range. Oh. Troll Dog's getting nervous. He's going for yeah. the F smashes on ledge to try to catch him. Wow. This is the DI, and that's going to be it. I don't think that even kills Fox at 150 with, I, like, 150 after hit. I don't, I don't yeah. think he would have died. I think Kalito was doing up B. And I think he was holding up, so that increases his knockback. Maybe you're that happens right. with me all the time. When I, I like, I recover a snake for some reason, I keep holding up, and I just get like ten times more knockback than I should if I'm just a normal person and I don't hold up. I hate when I'm like hold, like I'm buffering roll away, and then like I don't get my roll out in time, and I'm just like DIing into the blast zone. Is oh it, wait, is that a Twitch chat? We do have Twitch chat on stream. Oh, hey, what's up, yo. Twitch chat? Somebody scroll through this. I want to. Mr. Mecha Man. <laughs> Mr. Mecha Man's in it. We got Squabe, Baby the Beautiful. Thank you. Rooting for our MTF crew. The Entropy. Mecha Man is another MTF regular. Rooting on Entropy. I like it. This is like a like way higher of a value of a stream like oh. setup than I thought. They Miss would be. Caller. He's got a stream. Alex Diamond. Oh my goodness. Look, at, I'm a celebrity. What's El up, guys? The Elgato <laughs> Stream Deck. We've got. Like a huge monitor, we've got stream on a second Stop monitor, we have keyboards, we got mozzarella sticks. Shout outs to the mozzarella sticks, by the oh, way. Oh yeah, these are fantastic. The I like specifically didn't want to touch the mozzarella sticks themselves, but I had to stream the mozzarella sticks. <laughs> They're not my mozzarella sticks. I would t I would take taxes and take one mozzarella stick if I could. Uh, although some some kind soul, some fantastic person in the venue is like, yeah, I'm not gonna use my voucher if you want it, because I was jokingly said, hey, does anybody want to give me their voucher? Who did that? I don't know, but I got a meatball sub out of it. Shout out to them. I know. Oh, they, they were meatball sub. I gotta be meatball sub. Very these good. setups. Troll Doctor play Snake. No. 
Oh, uh, every, every every duck hunt main is committed to the character. It's not that like there's it's not that their zoning is fantastic. Their zoning is good, but their zoning yeah. specifically to duck hunt is fantastic. That's true. Here, challenge one. Name like, a duck hunt, and then challenge two. Name a duck hunt with a secondary. I guess Troll Dog does have secondaries. Yeah. I I play Wisdom a lot. His secondaries aren't even zoners. He plays like Cloud or like characters along that line. I'm just like, what what me? He plays Corin. Yeah. Sometimes you just need a totally different flavor. I mean, I play Fox Luigi. I mean, like yeah. different flavors is like. I can only play one character like Snake. I can't do Mega Man or Duck Hunt. I play Ridley. <laughs> Ridley and Incineroar are my next two. It's like I can't have another character like that. Because like this. you're used to like your zone and working the way that it works. Any other character you're trying to play as Snake, it just doesn't work the same. Yeah. Speaking of secondaries, and it maybe it'll come into play if we get a game three. Oh, that sends up. Yeah. But I know Kalito has a Donkey Kong. I wonder how much light no. of day it's no. seen. No. Oh, not in that, this dude. matchup. Absolutely not. Yeah, probably not. But maybe tonight. I, I don't know, you know? Maybe. Maybe Kazu just doesn't do it for somebody. For some matchup, I mean. He exploded. I think he was trying to go for the reflector there. Yeah. But he got an F tilt instead. Every time I play Kazu, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do the reflector. And I get like a forward smash or dash attack. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, I, think, I think I spent a whole two minutes in training mode. Is that too low? Yeah. Oh, no, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're done. A whole two minutes in training mode with Kazuya. And like, I'm like looking at that huge chart with like the 50 different inputs. <laughs> I'm just looking at it like, hmm, what do I want to do today? Yeah. And I think I get through like 15 of them. Like half of these didn't come out like I thought they would. <laughs> I actually bought Tekken on Steam because I got it for $5 because for a Steam sale. I played it for a total of 10 minutes. I have not touched it. <laughs> All like, right. I try to watch, like, tech videos and, like, how to play it. I'm just like, damn. I would, like, not have fun playing Tekken at, like, a level, at a beginner's level. Like, being used to where I am in Smash. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Would you consider Kazuya slow? Uh, yes. I consider him slow, but, like, tricky. Like, he's hard to hit for someone who's so his, slow. His, so, in his little, like, burst range, he can exist anywhere in this. Like, there's, like, pretend, like... Most characters' burst range is from zero to Ooh, three. Finally gets that F smash. From like negative three to three. That like in, in coordinate planes. Yeah. Kazi is this negative one to one. He can be anywhere in that negative to one to one <laughs> range at any given time. Mostly other characters have to commit to being a single point on their burst range. Kazi is just everywhere. Good. You're dead. Goodbye. I love that move. I have no idea how to do it, but I love seeing it. Um, it's the it's the shore you can input with a grab. Yep, don't know how to do it. So. <laughs> do, you, do you ever? Oh no, that's the one that looks like a Z. Yeah, it's the okay. it's the Godwiz input, but instead of hitting A, you hit grab. Oh, I love the commit to that. How's oh, he at 94? What happened? Yeah, I actually. I blinked. I I, I, I looked at you for two thought. seconds. I thought he was ducked the... under the electric. His his up smash made him low profile. He has duck in the name, my friend. But it's an actual duck. <laughs> this character's trolling. He has troll in the name. Yes. All right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh, he was going uh, for... Are you looking for the electric one? He's going for any sort of hit. It's hard... Uh, it's All so right. hard to hit Duck Hunt in like, these frantic scenarios because not even the Duck Hunt knows what they want to do. All right, yeah. Duck, um, Duck Hunt needs to get... Never wow, mind. what a call out. I was going to say, Duck Hunt doesn't really have any cheese coming from the stage. He needs to get the stage back, get new. Yeah, that's why this character... That's where this character makes all of their bread is just like... Yeah, there's there's no such thing as like a reversal from the ledge with Duck Hunt. Nope. Unless it's like unless you get had up, down a sweet, smash or like something. Like a sweet but. spot, back air, down air, that'll be insane. But that never happens. Yeah. Because Duck Hunts are like, my recovery sucks. I want to get back to center stage and press B. Like forward air won't kill from there. Up air won't kill from there. Like a back air, if you can get behind him, might. But like Duck Hunt's not gonna, he's not gonna get there. Yeah. yeah. Really needs to get back on stage for this matchup. I wonder how bracket is going. For pool B. Ooh. Rondor beat LOL. We got Kong Kyle Kong. in the chat. Mr. Me Kevin. Okay. Yeah, I'm on commentary. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Take your mod sticks. Um, are you hopping on commentary? Okay. I'll move over for just just to make it like not Good jump day. around. <laughs> this is game three, everybody. Uh, 
dramatic change of events. We have no more Duck Hunt. We have no more Kazuya. We have DLC 1 in our favor. No, wait. DLC 1 and DLC 2. We got the best. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We got a lot of DLC on the screen. We got Sephiroth versus Hero. Troll Dog makes sense that he would also play Hero. Ooh, make sure that make sure that microphone doesn't clack against anything. That that hurt. Alright. Looks like Kalito's off to a really good start against Troll Dog. One thing about one thing about Hero is if he doesn't have zoom, it is extremely hard for him yeah. to get off the ledge. Actually, Sola taught me that um, if you upper the center of the stage, yep, like that, you can actually cover six out of seven or eight of his uh, zoom options. Yeah, it depends on the stage though, because I know they're like different for every stage. Yeah, like... I, I know that's on FD. That's 100 percent true. Jeez. But yeah. It's like, look at the hard read I got. No. Mm -hmm. You rolled the bones. I was actually really good pressure to force an air dodge. Yeah, he's a, he's up being. I, I guess maybe that was like try to be a, like a neutral be like cancel, try to force him to get up, but. A lot of this matchup is just like, as Sephiroth, you want to play like very grounded, kind of poke at him a little bit beside me, and then as soon as he jumps, you just fair him away. Yep. And, like, you just have to play that horizontal range. Heroes play like Ikes, in my opinion, where they're like, their they're neutral exists to either roll or full hop. Yeah. One of the two. And as, as a player, you have to know which one they're going for and which one they're going to call out next. Yeah, and they also have like, like Honestly, almost unlike Ike, they have like a, uh, their grab is like really scary, especially with buffs, as well as uh, their forward tilt. Like, thank God so it's got hard. the worst, like second worst grab range in the game. Yeah, thankfully. But Followed uh, by Icy's being the worst, which yeah. makes sense. Oh that was such no, a great is he dead? Okay. No, 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 he, he, uh, he had plenty of space, and even then he can still grab ledge. I thought he was, I thought he was just gonna like do the thing. Oh, he has double reds. He's going for a shield pop right now. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is how you gotta play it, cause like you gotta you gotta make sure that at least one of the buff goes away, so that way like uh, you don't get your full shield broken. Ooh. Nice, good roll. I think Oof ran out. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty short 10 second timer. Whoa, Whoa no! Hey. Somebody got caught being aggressive. Oh, what are you air dodging for? You're dead. Yeah, he had that like so charged, but that, that had to be like some nerves because you're in the corner and you, you, you know you see your opponent like throwing a hitbox. Like, oh, I gotta get past this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, 